ਵਿਦਿਆਰਥੀਓ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਪਾਠ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਆਪਾਂ ਫਾਈਲਮ ਕੋਰ ਡਾਟਾ ਬਾਰੇ ਜਾਣਾਂਗੇ ਕੋਰ ਡਾਟਾ ਜੰਤੂਆਂ ਦਾ ਉਹ ਫਾਈਲਮ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਨਾਲ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਭ ਚੰਗੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਵਾਕਿਫ ਹਾਂ ਇਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਨੁੱਖ ਅਤੇ ਹੋਰ ਰੀੜਤਾਰੀ ਜੰਤੂ ਆਉਂਦੇ ਹਨ ਪਰ ਇੱਥੇ ਇਹ ਜਾਣ ਲੈਣਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਸਾਰੇ ਕੋਰਡੇਟਸ ਵਰਟੀਬ੍ਰੇਟਸ ਯਾਨੀ ਰੀੜਤਾਰੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਕੋਰਡੇਟਸ ਜੰਤੂਆਂ ਦਾ ਉਹ ਸਮੂਹ ਹੈ ਜਿਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਵਰਟੀਬ੍ਰੇਟਸ ਦੇ ਨਾਲ ਨਾਲ ਕੁਝ ਹੋਰ ਮਿਲਦੇ ਜੁਲਦੇ ਇਨਵਰਟੀਬ੍ਰੇਟਸ ਵੀ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਹਨ ਕੋਰਡੇਟਸ ਆਰ ਆਰਗੈਨਿਜ਼ਮਸ ਦੈਟ ਪੋਜੈਸ ਅ ਸਟਰਕਚਰ ਕਾਲਡ ਨੋਟੋਕਾਰਡ ਐਟ ਲੀਸਟ ਐਟ ਸਮ ਸਟੇਜ ਆਫ ਥੇਅਰ ਡਿਵੈਲਪਮੈਂਟ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਮੇਨ ਫੀਚਰ and the organisms are named on the basis of the presence of this notochord the notochord is a flexible rod like structure on the dorsal side of the gut it is present in all chordates at some stage of their development it extends along the length of the body when it is fully developed it stiffens the body and acts as a support helping in locomotion chordates also have pharyngeal slits which are openings that connect pharynx with the outside these are often used as gills in sharks and fish a single hollow nerve cord is present in vertebrates it differentiates into the brain and spinal cord Chordates are active animals with bilaterally symmetrical bodies that are longitudinally differentiated into head, trunk and tail. But the most distinctive morphological features of chordates are the presence of notochord, dorsal hollow nerve cord, pharyngeal gill slits and postanal tail. Phylum chordata includes the well-known vertebrates like fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals and is an important phylum of the animal kingdom. Students, as you know that animal kingdom is split into phyla. There are 11 major phyla in the animal kingdom which are divided on the basis of differences in structure and form of animals in spite of differences in structure and form of various animals there are fundamental features in relation to the arrangement of cells body symmetry nature of coelom patterns of digestive circulatory or reproductive systems that are common in all organisms of a group These features are used as the basis of animal classification. So, let us first discuss the classification of animal kingdom. The kingdom Animalia is split into 11 phyla. Each phylum includes organisms that have basic characters in common. The 11 phyla of the animal kingdom are from porifera to chordata the first phylum of kingdom animalia is phylum porifera organisms of this phylum have cellular level of organization and include organisms such as sponges if we consider the tissue level of organization and animals exhibiting radial symmetry kingdom animalia has two phyla coelentrata and tenophora these organisms are diploblastic phylum platyhelminthes include worms that are commonly known as flat worms they are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic and acelomates 
with organ level of organization. Phylum Ascalminthus include worms that are commonly called round worms. They have organ system level of body organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and pseudocoelomates. The remaining six major phyla, Annelida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, Echinodermata, Hemichordata and Chordata are all coelomates having bilateral symmetry and organ system level of organization. In today's lesson, we will focus on phylum Chordata. Students, these chordates inhibit marine, freshwater and terrestrial habitats from the equator to the high northern and southern latitudes. Phylum Chordata is characterized by some unique features that are present in all these organisms, at least during the early stages of their development. Let us now discuss these unique features of Phylum Chordata. Characteristic features of Phylum Chordata All chordates exhibit these four main characteristics. A dorsal hollow nerve cord. The nerve cord of chordates develops dorsally in the body as a hollow tube above the notochord. In most species, it differentiates into the brain anteriorly and a spinal cord that runs through the trunk and tail. Together, the brain and spinal cord are the central nervous system to which peripheral sensory and motor nerves connect. Notochord The notochord is an elongated, rod-like skeletal structure dorsal to the gut tube and ventral to the nerve cord. The notochord should not be confused with the backbone or vertebral column of most adult vertebrates. The notochord appears early in embryogeny and plays an important role in promoting or organizing the embryonic development of nearby structures. In most adult chordates, the notochord disappears or becomes highly modified. In some non-vertebrate chordates and fishes, the notochord persists as a laterally flexible but incompressible skeletal rod that prevents telescopic collapse of the body during swimming. Pharyngeal slits are located in the pharyngeal part of the digestive tract behind the oral cavity and anterior to the esophagus. In many of the non-vertebrate chordates, such as tunicates and cephalochordates, the clefts and arches are elaborated as straining devices concerned with capture of small food particles from water. In juvenile amphibians and typical fish-like vertebrates, the walls of the pharyngeal clefts develop into gills that are organs of gas exchange between the water and blood. In adult amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals, the anterior most cleft transforms into the auditory or eustachian tube and middle ear chamber, whereas the other clefts 
disappear after making some important contributions to glands and lymphatic tissues in the throat region. A post anal tail. The post anal tail is a muscular region of the body that extends beyond the anus. This post anal tail provides skeletal support and musculature that improves the locomotion of many aquatic chordate species. Students, of these four structures, only the nerve cord persists throughout the life of the organism. The notochord is usually replaced by a vertebral column and the gill slits disappear during embryonic development. In chordates, there is also present an endostyle, which is basically a groove in the ventral wall of the pharynx. In filter feeding species, it produces mucus to gather food particles, which helps in transporting food to the esophagus. It also stores iodine and may be a precursor of the vertebrate thyroid gland. Other common morphologies of chordates include bilateral symmetry along with segmented body, a well-developed coelom, a single dorsal hollow nerve cord, usually with an enlarged interior brain, a ventral heart with dorsal and ventral blood vessels, close type of blood vascular system and a bony or cartilaginous endoskeleton. They have special organs for respiration and excretion. Sexes are separate. Gonads have gonoducts and asexual reproduction is not there. Phylum chordata de lachna ate sthaan bare janan to baad hun asi phylum chordata de vargi karan bare jaan de haan. Phylum chordata tin sub phyla to milke baniya hai. Ao, ina tina sub phyla te nazar maariye. Classification of phylum chordata. Phylum chordata consists of three sub phyla. Eurochordata, cephalochordata, and vertebrata. The first two subphyla are small groups of primitive chordates without a vertebral column. They are commonly called lower chordates or invertebrate chordates and are often grouped together as protochordates. The vertebrates are commonly termed as higher chordates or eucordates. Eurochordates have a notochord and a nerve cord, but these are lost in adulthood. So the adults lack the notochord but retain the pharyngeal slits. The eurochordates are commonly called tunicates due to their protective covering known as a tunic. This tunic is made up of cellulose, which is very rare in animals. Let us see some common eurochordates. The best known example of eurochordates is herdmania, the sea squirt, which is one of the most commonly encountered species of this subphylum. It is mostly red in color and found attached to rocks. Doliolum, a free swimming tunicate with a barrel shaped transparent body, and pyrosoma are some of the other members of Eurocordata. The next subphylum is Cephalocordata. This is a small subphylum of very unusual creatures, commonly called lancelets or 
Amphioxus. These animals are fish-like in appearance, but are invertebrates with a notochord and a nerve cord right above it. They lack bones, brain, eyes, and most other organs associated with the brain. Pharyngeal slits are numerous and well developed. The best known example of cephalocordates is branchiostoma or amphioxus, the lancelet. Students, the cephalocordates include about 14 species, the best known of which are the members of the genus branchiostoma and are commonly called amphioxus. They are found throughout the world. Living on the seabed among shells, they have an interesting character. They live half buried in the sand with their heads projecting upwards and feed by filtering water through their pharynx to extract small particles. The next subphylum that we will discuss is vertebrata. Most chordates are vertebrates and the subphylum itself comprises of about 50,000 species of animals. Vertebrates are the animals most people think of when they think of the word animal. In comparison to the invertebrates, vertebrates are large and complex organisms built up of numerous tissues and organs. Vertebrata is the largest subphylum with well-known animals. Vertebrates include fishes, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals all having a vertebral column or a chain of vertebrae that run along the dorsal surface from head to tail. It forms the main skeletal axis of the body. The vertebral column surrounds and more or less replaces the notochord as the chief stiffener of the body and aid in locomotion. All vertebrates have a skeleton of either bone or cartilage. The skeleton provides strength and rigidity to the body and is an attachment site for muscles. The vertebrae in the middle region of the trunk give rise to pairs of ribs which surround and protect the internal organs. A cartilaginous or bony case encloses the brain. This bony protective structure is called as the cranium. Vertebrates have well-developed heart with two to four chambers and have a closed circulatory system. So students, we can say that the vertebrates show all the basic chordate features that we have already seen in the lower chordates. The presence of a notochord, dorsal nerve cord, pharyngeal slits and a bony or cartilaginous skeleton. The subphylum vertebrata is divided into two sections or divisions, agnetha and Gnathostomata. The agnetha or jawless fish are the oldest known vertebrates. The agnethans lack jaws. Agnetha has only one class, Cyclostomata. The class Cyclostomata includes the only surviving members known as Mixini, the hagfish, and Petromyzon the lamp prey. Division Gnathostomata consists of superclasses, Pisces which bear fins, and Tetrapoda 
which bear limbs. Pisces consists of classes chondrichthys and osteichthys. Tetrapoda consists of classes amphibia, reptilia, aves and mammalia. So students, we have learnt enough about the phylum chordata and with this we come to the end of our topic. Let us summarize what we have learnt today. Chordata is the animal phylum with which all of us are familiar as it includes humans and other vertebrates like fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals. Chordates inhabit marine, fresh water and terrestrial habitats. Chordates are defined as organisms that possess a structure called the notochord, at least during some stage of their initial development. The notochord is a rod-like structure that extends through the length of the body when it is fully developed. It stiffens the body and acts as support during locomotion. The most distinctive morphological features of chordates are the presence of notochord, dorsal hollow nerve cord, pharyngeal gill slits and post anal tail. Other common features of chordates include bilateral symmetry, segmented body, a well developed coelom, a dorsal hollow nerve cord usually with an enlarged interior end as brain, a ventral heart with dorsal and ventral blood vessels and a closed blood vascular system and usually a bony or cartilaginous endoskeleton. They have special organs for respiration and excretion. Sexes are separate. Gonads have gonoducts and asexual reproduction is lacking. The phylum chordata consists of three subphyla, urochordata, cephalochordata and vertebrata. The urochordata and cephalochordata are small subphyla of primitive chordates without a vertebral column. They are commonly called as lower chordates or invertebrate chordates. Eurochordates have a notochord and a nerve cord but these are lost in adults. So the adults lack the notochord but keep the pharyngeal slits. The eurochordates are commonly called tunicates due to their protective covering known as the tunic. This tunic is made up of cellulose which is very rare in animals. Cephalochordata is a small subphylum of very unusual creatures commonly called lenslets or amphioxus. The vertebrates are commonly termed as higher chordates or Eucordates. Vertebrata is the largest subphylum with well known animals. Vertebrates include fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals, as all have a vertebral column or a chain of vertebrae that run dorsally along the body from head to tail. Vertebrates too share the basic chordate features like the presence of notochord, dorsal nerve cord, pharyngeal slits and also have a bony or cartilaginous skeleton. The subphylum vertebrata is divided into two sections or divisions, agnetha and gnathostomata. Agnethans are the oldest known vertebrates. This ancient group of animals are similar to fish, 
but with some very noticeable differences. Division Gnathostomata consists of superclasses, Pisces which bear fins and Tetrapoda which bear limbs. So students enough for today. Let us quickly check with some short questions what you have grabbed today. Be attentive, here are some questions. Question. What do we mean by phylum chordata? Answer. Phylum chordata is a group of animals having a notochord as the chief internal skeletal support at some stage of their development. Most chordates are vertebrates, that is, animals with backbones. But this phylum also includes some small primitive invertebrate chordates. The next question is, list the main characteristics of creatures belonging to phylum chordata. Answer. There are four main characteristics of phylum chordata. These four main characters are presence of a notochord, presence of a hollow dorsal nerve cord, presence of pharyngeal slits, and presence of a post anal tail. The next question is What are pharyngeal slits? Answer Pharyngeal slits are the perforations or openings in the wall of the pharynx which are located in the pharyngeal part of the digestive tract. These are often used as gills in adults. Next question. Give some common examples of phylum chordata. The answer is humans and vertebrates like fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds and other mammals are all examples of phylum chordata. Next question. Name the three subphyla of phylum chordata. The answer is the three subphyla of phylum chordata are urochordata, cephalochordata and vertebrata. My next question is, name some best known examples of urochordates. Answer. The best known examples of urochordates are herdmania, the sea squirts, doliolum, pyrosoma, etc. The next question is, what are cephalochordates? Answer. Cephalochordates are animals which are fish-like but are invertebrates with a notochord and a nerve cord right above it. They lack bones, brain, eyes and most other organs associated with the brain. The best known example of cephalochordates is branchiostoma or amphioxus, the lenslet. My next question is, list the main characteristics of vertebrates. Answer, the main characteristics of vertebrates are presence of a notochord, presence of a dorsal nerve cord, presence of pharyngeal slits, and a bony or cartilaginous skeleton. Next question. Name the two divisions or sections of subphylum vertebrata. Answer. Subphylum vertebrata is divided into two divisions or sections. Agnetha and Gnathostomata. The next question is. How will you describe the division Agnetha? Answer. The Agnethans are the oldest known vertebrates. These lack jaws. 
Agnetha consists of class Cyclostomata. Hope I have made a successful attempt to clear your concepts regarding phylum Chordata of the animal kingdom, which will help you in fetching good marks in the exam. Thanks for your time. Goodbye.